In this video, I will walk you through how to create a basic longboard design in Onshape. So once you're logged into Onshape, you'll click on Create and then choose Document. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call this Pintail Longboard. So once that finishes loading up, what we're going to do is create a sketch. And we're going to first sketch out the dimensions of the board that we're going to cut the longboard from. That will help us to, as reference lines, to get the design correct. I personally don't like seeing these, so I'm going to turn all the geometries off. I'm going to hide those so that I don't see them on my screen here. Next thing I want to do is I want to come up to document menu and go to workspace units. Make sure that I'm working in inches. That will help us better since the lumber we're working with will be in inch dimensions. So I'm going to check the box on that and then I'm going to choose sketch. And now I need to choose which geometry. We're going to be drawing this like we're looking at it from the top down. So I'm going to choose the top geometry. So now we should have sketch one. The sketch plane is the top plane. You change the view by clicking on top on the cube. Now I'm looking at it from the top down. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I know I will need to once I create this. So next, as I mentioned, we're going to create the board that we'll be cutting the longboard out of using a triangle or a rectangle and construction lines, and this will be a reference. So now I just want to create a rectangle, just a rough rectangle. I'm going to click once, drag it out, and then click a second time. Now I want to give it dimensions. So if I come up here to the dimension tool, and I know that the board we're cutting this out of, the max size will be 48 inches long. So I'm going to type in 48 inches and hit return. I'm going to zoom out again. So you can see we were still too close. And now again, I'm going to make sure the dimension tool is selected and the width of the board is going to be And here. I'm just clicking one time on that line and then drag it out and click a second time and it opens it up and now I'm going to put in 12 inches because the piece of wood that we'll have will be 12 inches by 48 inches. So that gives me the rough rectangle. I'm going to just drag this down a bit so it's more centered. Now what I want to do is again create construction lines. So I'm going to choose the construction and this time I'm just going to do a line instead of a rectangle. And I'm going to create a line that runs down the middle both lengthwise and heightwise so that I can use that as a reference point for my mirror and you'll see that again later. So there again I've cho chosen line and construction and I'm going to run along this front edge and you see that little symbol is going to change. It changes from perpendicular to that dot there which means I'm in the center. So I'm going to click once, drag that down to the other end Make sure that I get in the center point again and click a second time. That will create a line down the middle. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to hit escape so I don't draw a line off there. Choose the line tool again, the construction line, and then I'm going to find the center of the top. Draw a line from the top to the bottom. Make sure that it's centered and click a second time. Now I have the, all the construction lines I'm going to need for this. That sets it up. I'm, and now in part two, I'll show you how to draw the curves and finish your drawing. 